And I'm watching, like, who's the best puck retrieval forward in the NHL? Who's the guy that wins pucks back better than anybody in the NHL? Mark Stone. I haven't seen him in this series, Mark Stone. I'm sorry. I, I'm looking for him. Okay, Mac, in terms of what you saw out of the Montreal Canadiens and, and Vegas, uh, a little role reversal. Montreal oh. wins game three when they should have lost, and Vegas wins game four when Montreal should have won. Well, Pretty first of all, it? first of all, I, I've got to I've got to applaud um, Peter DeBoer. I, I wouldn't have had the balls to make that move. I, I, and I, I thought about it a lot the last 24 hours. Good on Peter for making the decision. Did I agree with it? I said it to you. I wouldn't have done it. I, I said know. it to you yesterday. What, what, I wouldn't what, have done it. We had, and I we got had a call. We had a I call got before his, the game. And I, I, I applaud him. It, it, it helped them win. Uh, it was a gutsy, gutsy move. And uh, I what wouldn't have I done it. You? He did it and won. You what know? did I tell you before the game? You said you would have done it. Yes. And I liked and, it. Yeah, I know you did, and I mean, and I'm thinking, okay, just a minute, this guy hasn't played now, but it, but it's not over yet. He's got no, now. No, he's no, got no. Come, now he's got to come back with him again. How is he going to be in another in a second game? We don't know that. But here, here's what I here's what jumped after, besides that decision, and you were right, I was wrong. I didn't have the balls to do it. Fair enough. But here's what I watched last night. I watched Montreal Canadiens play a hell of a game. I I know they played some good playoff games. That was the best I've seen them. They were in control. They were physical. They were more physical than this big bully Vegas team. They were faster. They moved the puck better. They had quality scoring chances. If Caulfield would have scored, if Caulfield there's my buddies phoning me. George Matthews now phoning me during the goddamn game. During the show. Do they not know I do this show? Seriously. Are you back? You want to take that call? Like, George, like, seriously, George. Come on. Obviously, he doesn't watch the show. Well, you, know? you got to get him to watch the show. Oh, no. It pisses me off. But anyway, I thought Montreal played a hell of a game. Caulfield scores on the breakaway there in the middle of the third hey, period, on, whatever it was. Go, don't get ahead of it's yourself. It's over. Let's it's just, over. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to, to Robin Leonard a bit. Um, and why I liked it and why I told you I liked it before the game is I thought with everything that's gone on with Mark andre Fleury, he, he needed a reset. And I don't know what that means in terms of when and if he gets the net back, depending on, on Leonard. And I agree with you. He will start game five in Vegas. But he's been on a hell of a run and he's had a hell of a year. And this is where it takes everybody to win. And that means that Leonard needed to come in and alleviate a little bit and give the team a different look a different perspective and this is where DeBoer gets full marks like you said but at a 2-1 in the series Mac if if Leonard doesn't come in and, and get the job done at 3-1 going back in front of 18,000 people back after Fleury's had some time to reflect and regroup still would have gave you a feeling that Vegas wasn't out of this at 3-1 and Leonard does the the job. I mean, you're right. Stops a hot score in, in in Cole Caulfield on a breakaway there, and that one solidified the win. It, it, he is first, second, and third star for Vegas last night. It's not even close, but that's a hell of a gutsy move. It is, and, and we don't know if Flurry couldn't have won the game last night. I mean, he's won. How many games has he won? I mean, what's his save percentage going into last night? I, I just, mean, the guy has been lights out. He's I won agree. them how many? I mean, Minnesota. I mean, I, we don't know if Flurry would have won, but it's still, still, I'm giving DeBoer full marks for a gutsy move. I, I, I really believe that he. It was a nice reset for Flurry, and if if Robin would have lost. You would have been able to come back to to Flurry at home, yeah. to go back to Montreal with a a, a three two series. That's, I think right. it was a, a a timely 
calculated move by yeah. DeBoer that, that uh, paid off. Yeah, it was a good, it obviously yeah. in hindsight, yeah, he, he was right. And that's right. But even with Leonard there, Montreal, I, I'm telling you, I didn't think they're capable of playing that well. And that's solid. Starting with their big four on the back, back end and, and the extra couple of guys doing a real good job for them on the back end. Price, I mean, obviously we didn't like, but Montreal played a, I thought they played a hell of a hockey game. I really did. And I didn't think, I didn't, like when I watched Vegas in game one, I didn't think this was even going to be a close series. Although I did predict yeah. Montreal to win the last two games. I didn't, we didn't have a prediction last night. So I'm yeah. two and all, by and, the way. You know, uh, the, the one thing that stood I'm out. I'm not making a me, prediction in the next game. The, the one thing that stood out for me with Montreal, Mac, is that they, if if they make mistakes, it's minimal and it's not costing yeah. them. They they are positionally but it's so the, sound. Yeah. And it really starts they are, it really starts for me having a goaltender Mac and I, I keep going back to Brendan Gallagher uh against Toronto when he made those comments that we think a one nothing lead is enough for Carey Price and that that's a feeling that changes everything the way you play the game yeah he, he's he's been that good he's been that much of a leader when they were down against Toronto he's the guy that stepped up I mean it just he has been amazing Gallagher hasn't put any points up but he still played his tail off Positionally, they've been great. It's been a great story. They lose their head coach. Luke Richardson steps in. One of my favorite people. I had him in Columbus. He was my captain in Columbus. I love the guy. I mean, it's been a great story. And they deserve, to me, they deserve the win in the game last night. But that happens at playoff time. The other you thing, know? too, Mac, it's really standing out is that uh, there's a hunger on. Montreal that we don't we we don't necessarily see out of Vegas and we saw it against Colorado and Minnesota but we have yet to see like when there when there's loose puck battles when there's 50-50 pucks Montreal's winning them it's not Vegas which shocks me that shocks me cuz we haven't seen that out of Vegas for 4 years that's been their that's been their trademark and and I'm watching like, who's the best puck retrieval forward in the NHL? Who's the guy that wins pucks back better than anybody in the NHL? Mark Stone. I haven't seen him in this series, Mark Stone. I'm sorry. I, I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him last night. Yeah, there's... I a, mean, I don't... I mean, losing his centerman is one thing. Mac, we've, we've you know? played four games, and the only goals Vegas has had out of forwards, I think, are Jan Mark and, and last night, Nicholas Waugh. And I know. the rest come from the blue line. So no yeah. Carlson, no Marcia. So uh, you mentioned Stone, Riley Smith, Riley Smith, Alex Tuck. I mean, Pacioretty, zero goose eggs, four games. I, I'm shocked by that. I really am. And I, look, I know Pacioretty made a good play on the goal. I know Carlson made a good play. That was a positive. If I'm coaching or leaving the, the rink last night, I'm I'm feeling good that Carlson made a big play, that Pacioretty made a big play. Those are critical. Those are critical. The D kept the puck in on the goal. I mean, there was critical play. If I'm leaving that rink as a management team, oh, minus Kelly McCrimmon, who, by the way, is out with COVID. Like, seriously, what the hell is going on? Now we got the coach and we got the GM. Like, what? What the they had, hell is going on? You think they had here? dinner together? Just quarantine for 14 days on PEI. I've had six negative tests in PEI and the border and everywhere else. And these two guys get COVID? What the hell is going on? Jesus. Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs>